Hey, today I'm gonna teach you how to make the craziest sample melodies using this free FL Studio stock plugin called Fruity Granulizer. Let's get it. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy Tony Shen. I am back with another melody tutorial. Today we're gonna explore this plugin that I've been sleeping on for a really, really long time. And how I came about this plugin is basically like I was on my experimental phase looking for crazy different inspirations, right? And I came across this like technique known as granular synthesis. Um, you know, like if you listen to Flume, you hear all that like crazy, like back and forth, like just crazy chopped up melodies. That's where it comes from. While I was looking through this technique, I actually realized that there's this plugin that has been in my FL Studio stock plugin library for like the longest time. I've been using FL Studio for like four or five years, right? But this has been in my library for like the longest time and it's free and I've never used that or I've never even heard of it. Basically, this plugin is called Fruity Granulizer, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use it to create like the craziest futuristic experimental type melodies. And the beauty of this is that like, you can go as crazy as you want and you can work with all different types of samples. So, you know, it can get insane. So to kind of give you a background until I kind of set this up, right? Um, I'm gonna play you some samples from my upcoming melody kit called Neon. Um, if you guys join my Discord, you guys can actually get this melody kit for free. So the link is in the description. All you have to do is join my Discord and I'll be giving it out. This is the loop that we're gonna use. It's kind of like some UFO, like spacious type. This is like the full melody, right? But we're, we're actually just gonna use the pad just to show you what it's gonna sound like. So this is like the pad part of the melody, right? And here's what it sounds like with the context of the drums. I didn't add anything else because just today we're just focusing on melodies. Let's load up granular synthesis and I'll show you what we can do with it. So um, I kind of started experimenting with it a little bit already, but um, we're gonna load up a new instance of Fruity Granulizer. So this is what it looks like. It looks very generic, right? <laughs> it just looks like an FL Studio stock plugin or whatever. So let's dive in and I'll show you what we can do. So this is the pad that we're gonna use, right? All we have to do is take this, oops, let's take this and drag it into our fruity granulizer. Right, so now, as you can see, it's loaded in our granulizer, and then you can actually play notes. Turn the gain up a little bit. Okay, so, so Fruity Granulizer by default, like the root note is set to C. So if you play C, the original sample plays, but you have to note that the original sample that I made the melody in was in D major. So if you play a C here, it's actually gonna play in D major because that's the original key of the sample. So that's just one thing to note when using Fruity Granulizer. But anyways, um, basically what a granulizer does, or like what granular synthesis is, it chops up your sample into like really, really small grains and it allows you to like manipulate the sample by jumping to like random grains or like changing the attacks or like spacing of certain grains. And it just gives it like a super futuristic and trippy effect, right? So the first thing I'm gonna show you is just using Fruity Granulizer on the entire sample and then chopping the entire sample up into like bits that sound super, super cool. So let's just, you know, play a C. Also make sure that your tempo is like matching with the original sample, but it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna show you how you can actually manipulate the tempo and change like the timing of it by using a Fruity Granalyzer. But just for now, I, I kept it simple and I made the song tempo, the project tempo the same as like my, my sample tempo. So let's just play this. And right now it's ma playing mainly like the original sample, right? It sounds really close to the original sample. Now, what we can do is mess with the grain spacing and the attack of certain grains and then just chop it up and just make it sound like very, very spacious and, and beautiful. So we change the grain spacing. We change the wave spacing and the grain spacing. Pretty cool, right? The attack time. It changes the sound completely. 
but you still want it to be on time, right? So what I like to do is open up a metronome and then just make sure that um, the rhythm being played through the sample kind of like makes time makes sense with the, with timing, right? So. So just mess with the knob. So that that's kind of early, right? So just mess with this knob. That's a little bit fast. It's a little too fast still. That's on time. Yeah, so now it's on time, right? And then you can mess with the effects knob, with, which like this changes the stereo separation, so it makes it like go back and forth between your ears. And then the random knob jumps between different grains. So it just makes it a little bit more trippy and just jumps around, right? It's pretty cool, right? And then you could also add different notes because this is, is, is a sampler, so you can actually play it in all different types of keys. Right, so you could add one an octave higher. Right, and this is also velocity sensitive, so you, you can even make the higher note a little bit softer, so it kind of just blends in with the with the back. It just sounds super like majestic and chaotic and like almost space-like, but everything's in key because you're using the sample and just jumping back and forth. It, it could be used like as a pad in the back or you could even, you know, have a section where it's all just granular and then it's all chaotic and stuff. And you can also add some effects to it, right? Like a reverb would bring it out more and just make it sound bigger. And then a chorus. Right, and with the context of the drums. Now, this is just one way of, of playing around with Fruity Granulizer. Like, you could use it to, you know, kind of manipulate the entire sample. The other thing you can do is kind of use it as its own instrument and then sample like a one shot. So the next thing I did was I just sampled like a flute note. This is just from Flex, um, an FL Studio, like the stock plugin, right? Um, not that cool, right? It's just a generic flute sound. It's just a flute playing the C note. So what we can do is take this one shot that you just sampled from a generic, FL Studio stock plugin, and then use it inside of a fruity granulizer and then use it as like its own instrument. So let's open up fruity granulizer. Let's drag this in here. And what you can do is play actual notes, right? So I'm gonna use the same pad melody that we did earlier, but I'm just gonna take the MIDI of it. So we're just gonna drag this here and then we're gonna play it with granulizer and see what it sounds. Maybe pitch it down an octave. And then 
everyone can play around with the wave spacing and the randomness. And then another few things to note, um, this knob is super useful because it tells you where to start the sample. So as you can see, there's like a little bit of space here. That's why you, I have a little bit of like a clip, like a little pop at the beginning, right? So if you, if you drag it somewhere like here, there's not gonna be a pop anymore. And then also, if you, if you enable loop, it means that like once you play the entire sample, it's gonna loop back instead of stopping. So if, if you didn't have loop on, like, and, and you held the sample all the way, it would just stop. Sometimes, you know, it would be appropriate to, to turn loop mode on, but in this case, it doesn't really matter since the flute sample is like super, super long anyways. But anyways, um, if you just mess with like the randomness and like the panning and the depth, you get super cool effects. And then the best part about this is like you can automate this section and just create a ton of movement just using this this FL Studio stock plugin. So if you just right click and then create an automation clip, here's like the flute sample, right? And then this automation clip controls the attack time. You could like totally just automate this. sounds so cool you know add some reverb Sounds so cool, right? It sounds so trippy. All we really did was just take one generic sample that we got from Flex and we turned it into something that's super crazy and just experimental, right? That's all I have for today. It's a really quick melody tutorial. You guys can use this technique to do whatever you want with it and like the possibilities for this is endless. Like you could sample vocals with this, like you could chop entire beats using this. Like it's crazy. So use this to your advantage, you know, experiment with this, make this some crazy sounds. But all I wanted to say before we end is if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. Um, I love making tutorials like this and I want to keep doing it, but your support means everything. And also, um, my melody kit, um, you know, what I pulled the mini and like the original first sample that we worked with, it's all from my melody kit called Neon. It has a bunch of like cool spaceship space sounds with like big atmospheric vibes. Um, it's super cool. It's my most comprehensive and like my craziest, my most experimental melody kit. It's actually, I'm giving it out for free. All you have to do is join the Discord link in the description below and I'm giving it out sometime Thanksgiving or maybe like during Christmas or sometime during it. So I'm giving it away for free. So all you have to do again is join my Discord community. That's where I hook up all my people with free stuff with. So that's all I have for today. Peace out.